Frequent flyers fly, la 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 la. Frequent flyers bat. What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? Welcome back to the channel. Smash the like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, I'd like to extend a warm welcome. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. I invite you to also subscribe and hit the notification bell if you like the content. And that'll make sure that you don't miss any of my future uploads. You'll be notified. And so I'm out here again at the park. And this time I'm out here to test some new antennas. I got some new triple patch antennas for the HD zero system. Well, both uh, Emac systems actually, it fits both monitors, the analog system and the digital system. But I brought the digital system out here to test these things. I had one of them, uh, it's a red one. A early version of this triple patch antenna but it seems nothing has changed still looks identical except for the color the original one I have is red and so I grabbed two of these because I wanted to test out uh, the range and all not really the range but the quality of these antennas and using both antennas as triple patch because I was thinking that that would probably be my best bet having a mushroom antenna on here it doesn't really seem like it does the job of one triple patch antenna so i'm going to try to work with two and have one pointing that way one pointing this way and see if that allows me to fly this entire little park here without having any static breakup I'm, i know i'm going to have some static breakup but it would be nice if i didn't have uh too much anyhow i bought the little HD zero now mode seven light <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get this guy up in the air and check it out got a few packs out here I'm only gonna fly one pack I'm gonna use this 850 milliamp hour pack just so I have more time to test it <laughs> Try it again. I wasn't paying attention, I was looking at the darn screen. By not paying attention to what I was doing as far as flying. I'm still getting breakup. I don't know if there's a difference with me flying right side polarized or left side polarized because the antenna on this little quad is linear. I'm not sure. That's what I thought anyhow. I'm getting some breakup still. Look. I think I fell safe over there. What the heck? Oh, I don't even have my antenna up in the air. <laughs> ah, boy. I don't want to try to do a uh, flip over after crash in this grass over here, so let me try to find it. Ah. All right, y'all. So I retrieved this little guy. It was all the way on the far side over here. And I'm really starting to be convinced of the importance of having ELRS <laughs> because this thing has FR Sky, the SPI version, D8 mode. And so far I've had about three fail safes with this thing flying with it out here. I think I had a fail safe at home too. I went around the corner. I went too far around the corner with this guy and I fell safe. It fell down on me and my son had to run around the corner to get it. <laughs> And so, yeah, I'm really starting to see why everybody is starting to move away from SPI FR Sky and over to Express LRS. And so I'm thinking about making a swap. I'm thinking about um, taking using this little HD Zero Whoop Light 
combo right here and putting it inside another quad and adding express LRS because uh, if I'm gonna be fail safe and out here <laughs> I like to fly this whole little park out here I like to fly around the perimeter and all and I don't want to risk losing this guy from it dropping all the way on the other side of the park and me having to go look for it so but anyhow that's my little two cents on that but as far as the triple patch antennas I'm wondering if I'm having them position not positioned right or should I switch it to left side polarized because I have them both set to right side polarized and so I'm um, thinking about trying to experiment with the right and left side to see which one has the best results with this little guy I'm not sure if it makes a difference because it just has that little <laughs> it just has this little um, linear antenna there just a, doesn't look like it's um, gonna make a difference but these triple patches uh, I guess if I I should probably spread them out a little more like that so we're gonna go up for another flight real quick while I try it like that all right y'all so let's try this again got my patch antennas facing the right directions See that little stutter it does <laughs> coming down from a power loop. Need to adjust the pids. So still the same rig up that I've been getting. sure is anything I can do to get it to have less of the little static it's more of an annoyance oh are you kidding me I think I fell safe again <laughs> Ridiculous. Kidding me? Yeah, I think it's time, guys. This thing fell safe on me again. I'm trying to stop the recording. Let me try to take off with it. Oh, I can't even take off with it. Okay, there we go. Flying this thing practically with one hand almost. So it's behind me. Just going to bring it down there. At least I know where it is. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna invest in some DLRS. I'm actually 
flying behind myself. So it seems like these triple patch antennas, uh, just having one of them is suffice in order uh, for this guy to have good reception. But I, I don't know what I can do to stop that little static breakup that I seem to have periodically. Um, maybe it's just inevitable with all the uh, woods and everything out here. Um, well, it seems like when I'm flying through these trees around here, I get a lot of static breakup and all. I was thinking that uh, getting another triple patch antenna or having two of them at the same time uh, would make a difference not sure if uh, left uh, left side polarized would do a different job than right sides polarized as far as this having a linear antenna on the VTX and so uh, I'll look more into that if you guys know better than me let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Full review on these Emacs goggles slash monitors coming up soon. And definitely a review on this one as well. Thanks for watching.